natural strategy for visually merchandising your machine. We are all conditioned to read from left to right and from top to bottom. So what vending machine experts say is that you want to put your highest priced products on the right because subconsciously we value things more the higher up they are and the further to the right. This is where your mind stops for a moment, then you look and then you process. So the things that you're really trying to move or your highest priced products you want on the far right side. I like a mix of shapes and textures because it's much more eye catching. There's a reason why chip manufacturers have all of their bags different colors. Because if everything was all one color, it would be boring and it wouldn't draw you in. So I try to mix the heights and the shapes of my products. One of my tips for stocking the machines is to have variation within a selection. A lot of my products come in a few different versions. And the, con the idea behind that is that the person who buys an eye patch is the most likely person to buy another eye patch. Because you already know they like eye patches. So by mixing which one is first and which one is second, you're giving some variation there. Same thing. It's like, ooh, I love this clip. Oh my gosh, but that's orange. Orange is my favorite color. I better get that one and give this one to my friend. The same thing goes with Truth or Dare. The people who are buying a pack of Truth or Dare, once they finish the round of game, they want to buy another one. Well, it better not be identical. You have to have some variation within that single selection. So many of my products have that variation built into them. And it just makes the whole experience a lot more fun. Um, that's the beauty of the Find Your Inner Animal, where there's like 20 different variations and nobody wants to get the same two turtles in a row. For me, the product that I want to move most are the mystery bags. Mystery bags are super easy to assemble. I have a high profit margin in them. As you know, I use them to get rid of inventory that isn't moving quickly. So my idea is that people, by the time they've looked at all these things, their mind is like, oh my gosh, what is this? What is, oh, can, can you believe it? And by the time they get to the bottom row, they're like, sweet, I'm just gonna get a mystery bag. Because everything that's up here has kind of hinted at what might be inside these. And so now they're very intrigued. The other reason why I put the mystery bags at the bottom is because every person who makes a purchase goes down here to grab it, okay? So every person does see these products once they've bought one thing. And if they really like what they've bought, they're more likely to buy something else. And why not go for the mystery bag? 